team match. Private Party versus Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus versus Insanely Rude. Thrill Ride with Ron Zombie and Jared Silverclight. Clash with the seven foot tall Kaz XL. The Northeast Wrestling Tag Team Championships on the line as King Brian and David Arquette, Hollywood royalty, takes on Keith Youngblood and Jerry the King Lawler. Enzo returns to the ring to battle Brian Pillman Jr. The Northeast Wrestling title's on the line in a no disqualification match as the hometown hero Hale Collins battles the death-defying Darby Allen. JT Dunn faces Ray Phoenix. In the main event, first time ever dream match is Pentagon Jr. versus John Moxley. This is North East Wrestling. Introducing first, she's from the Brick City. Please welcome the Culture Queen, Tasha Well, Paul, you want to talk about a young lady who has made waves here at Northeast Wrestling, the winner of the first ever All Women's Battle Royal back at WrestleFest 23, and she's been on a roll ever since. Tasha Steeles is in Poughkeepsie. Tasha Steeles proudly representing the tri-state area, also a very proud member of Team Adams out of New Jersey, who has trained a who's who of women's wrestlers, including Deanna Perrazzo, Karen Q. So she has a fantastic pedigree in every single style you can think of, and we're gonna see that on display here tonight. Well, we've seen her do battle against another fellow Team Adams associate, Carissa Rivera, all year long. And her opponent comes to us from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Penelope Perhaps we could say the same about Steels. We'll see how this one develops. I would say the biggest positive that Penelope Ford has going for her is she can take a beating. I have seen her go all up and down the Northeast, and she has been in there with some very vicious competitors, taken a beating, and continued to come and use her athleticism to overcome those odds. Well, Ford offering a handshake. And still says, no way. A trick or two she has also learned at her time with Team Adams. They are not opposed to using the rules to their advantage. Hard shoulder tackle, and Ford knows this is a little bit more than a friendly competition at this point. Yeah, they don't call her the Bariqua badass for nothing. She is going to go in there. She is going to get gritty with you, and... She's gonna use everything she has in her arsenal to try to get that win. Steals one, the cutter, up and over. Can she find some offense here? No! Float kick as the bad girl able to dominate early. Here we go with that athleticism I spoke of. But for Tasha Steals, you have to think there's a little more going into this matchup other than friendly competition, oh. trying to get a win as we see a big boot there for her. 
She sees Penelope Ford doing elite things in October and has to think to herself, why am I not going there? Why am I not getting the big opportunity? So if I can beat somebody like Penelope Ford, everybody should want to sign me up. Well, you talked about it before, Paul. All of her fellow training partners, people that she's trained with, Deanna Perazzo, Karen Q, people we've seen compete right here in Northeast Wrestling. They have certainly had upward mobility in their careers. Tasha Steeles is hungry for that same success. Yeah, and I can attest to that hunger. She will make long, long drives just to get a chance to compete anywhere. So she is willing to put in the work. She has put in a lot of work over the last few years, now hoping that this contest here at NEW can help catapult her to the next level. Getting rough, physical, and gritty. Tasha Steeles now forgetting about the pleasantries, forgetting about the fancy stuff. She is in attack mode, and it's serving her well. But she has to make sure to use that aggression, that anger, that frustration in a positive way. You just saw it on display. She was jawing with the referee when her focus should squarely be on Penelope. I just wonder if that's going to cost her. A whole lot of trash talk always from Tasha Steeles. And maybe backing it up here. And that execution on the neck breaker was done so well. You see moves like that so often in professional wrestling, but it's the way you do it with the technique that sets people apart from being great. And she does it so well. Rear chin lock applied with aggression, intensity, trying to keep Penelope Ford down, but regaining verticality already. Penelope Ford in fighting mode here tonight as well. Yeah, Penelope Ford, she's also made those same drives that Tasha Steele has, so I'm not trying to take anything away from her at all. I'm just wondering the mind frame of Tasha Steele's and how that's going to affect her. Looking to load up. Nicely executed suplex. Steele's is going to hold on. She's not done yet. There's two. Definitely going to go for the trifecta. She got it. Is three the charm for Tasha Steele's? Not yet. Another thing we have to look out for is the longer this goes, I think it is going to favor Tasha Steeles. If you follow Team Adams on social media, they will routinely post videos of them training half hour, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 75 minutes, 90 minutes straight, going through and testing each other and making sure their endurance is on the up and up. So Penelope Ford has to pull a trick out of her hat here. She's trying to create some separation, find some surcease, a uh, window of opportunity, and she's gonna take everything she can. What a kick. Yeah, that's her biggest strength, is her effective striking. She's able to go in there and hit you very hard and in the right place. Maybe a crucifix into the palm. Not enough to hold her for the pinning combination. Ford very frustrated right now. Yeah, I talked about the frustration of Tasha Steeles perhaps coming into play, but Penelope Ford looking a little uneven there, thinking that she was going to have the win off such a big move, but now she has to get her head back in the game. Two women at the forefront of the future of women's wrestling live all over the world under the bright lights. Who's going to come out on top here as Steeles saves herself? Wow. And goods Penelope Ford right in. Penelope Ford's on wobbly legs here. If Tasha Steeles can take this big risk and hit it, it could be over. Crossbody. Shoulders down. Oh. Less than a half a count away from maybe the biggest win of her career. And this is also a very different match for Penelope Ford. The last time we saw her, Brass City Brawl, taking on Alicia Edwards, who might be the fiercest competitor in women's wrestling that I've ever seen. Very vicious streak. So while Tasha may be rough and aggressive, this is a little different from that. Swinging away. Not a lot of technique, but a whole a lot of heart for Penelope Ford. And look at this athleticism. That's that unorthodox <laughs> style I talked about. She got the stunner. And Steele's indeed stunned. Number two, the crusher takes her down. 
Wow! It didn't look good for Penelope, but she got the win. The bad girl found the one-two punch that she needed to come out on top. And it certainly wasn't easy here tonight, Paul. No, it was a huge struggle for Penelope Ford. But that's what I touched on when we were talking about this at the beginning of the match. She can take a beating. She can take it and come back and do things like that to get the victory. So a very impressive win for her here tonight.